in this video we are going to look at how to find a derivative of x exponent x with respect to x from first principles is that okay now don't forget that in first principles if we let our y to be equal to f of x it is important to note that a change in y will be equal to f of x plus small change in x minus a function of what of x now for this case our function value of x is x what exponent x therefore a small change in y will be equal to x plus a small change in x then exponent x plus a small change in x minus x exponent of x now we shall do some algebra and then we factorize so a small change in y will be equal to x plus a small change in x we shall have exponent x times x plus small change in x then exponent a small change in x minus x of exponent what x we are doing that basing on the principle of numbers of the same base we add the what the power is that okay so now we shall go further and we shall say that we have this guy and we have this guy we have to simplify them to their minimum now terms is that okay and for this guy we shall have it as x plus a small change in x exponent x this one can be well written as we pull out x into we want to make this guy a one so we shall have a one plus small change in x out of x then everything exponent x so we shall get that value as x exponent x into 1 plus 1 plus small change in x out of x then exponent x is that okay now we are going to use binomials expansion to expand 1 plus a small change in x out of x exponent x and that one will be equal to so we shall have x exponent x into 1 plus 1 plus x small change in x out of x plus x into x minus 1 out of 2 factorial then a small change in x out of x everything squared plus other terms is that okay but for higher powers of small change in x this guy will go to zero so we shall have this guy as x exponent x into one plus a small change in what in x therefore we are going to look at for the expansion of x plus small change in x exponent a small change in what in x so this one is also equal to we pull out x because we want to remain with the one here plus a small change in x out of x then everything exponent small change in what in x so we shall have that guy as x exponent small change in x into one plus small change in x out of x exponent small change in x and this one will be equal to x exponent small change in x in two we use binomials expansion and that is one plus change in x times change in x out of two then plus change in x into small change in x minus one out of a two factorial times a small change in x out of two squared then times other what other terms but don't forget that for higher powers for higher powers of small change in x 
small change in x times small change in x this guy will come to zero and this guy come to zero and the others will go to zero therefore we shall have x plus a small change in x exponent small change in x will be equal to x exponent small change in x now we shall get this expansion and this expansion will substitute them back here is that okay and we shall say a small change in y a small change in y will be equal to x exponent x into 1 plus a small change in x times x small change in x then minus x exponent x so we shall factor out x exponent x and we shall have a small change in y is equal to x exponent x into 1 plus a small change in x and then x exponent small change in x minus 1 then we shall divide by the x on both sides <coughs> and this dy dx will be equal to a limit as a small change in x tends to 0 we shall have x exponent x into 1 plus a small change in x then x exponent small change in x minus 1 out of a small change in x now from analysis from analysis of limits we shall come to realize that this guy dy dx is equal to this term x exponent x will be pulled out of the operator limit so it will be x exponent x limit as small change in x tends to zero into one plus a small change in x then x exponent small change in x minus one out of small change in x now if we take limits from both sides this guy will move to lean of x plus a one and therefore dy dx will be equal to x exponent x lean of x plus one now in order to visualize this what you have to do you can let your x as a two and a small change in x varies is that okay you substitute you substitute you substitute you'll come to know that if your x is two is that okay now this guy will be lean of two plus a one and if your x is a three the whole of this will be lean of three plus a one and if your x is equal to four your guy this one under a limit will be equal to lean of four plus a one therefore for the value of x it will be lean of x plus one thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share the video for more about mathematical topics and concepts